This is an absolutely gorgeous piece of Nachtman cut to clear crystal. There were so many people in this aisle when I got here and this is worth a small fortune. So I can't imagine that it doesn't have some damage. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. I'm in the car and I just wanted to show you our gorgeous, gorgeous weather here in Las Vegas. It's February the 12th today and we've had 70 degree weather all week long. It's still a bit chilly at night, around about 50 degrees. But for February 72, you can't complain about that. I'm here at Goodwill. I'm going to park the car and let's go inside. So we had a bit of an eventful morning this morning. We woke up to take dog, uh, Bear to the dog park to discover we had a flat tire. There was a big screw in um, our rear right side. So we had to drive over to Costco. Costco is honestly the best. If you buy your tires there, they repair any punctures or flat tires at no charge. So we went over there, dropped the car off. Um, I took Chris to work, dropped him off. I've got to go pick him up at 11 tonight. And uh, in the meantime, I'm using his car to go to Goodwill. Here we are. Let's go in. If I can peek through the window, the color of the week is still orange. Let's go in and see what they have. Let's uh, grab a cart. How are you? Good. And make our way back to the hard goods section. We are still not yet moved into our new house, but we're very, very close. The master bath tile is all finished and our granite uh, has been measured and is being cut. So just hopefully a few more days until it's all done. I'll include a couple of shots of our lovely bathroom tile at the end of the video, along with some pictures of Bear. He's growing by the day. His ears are completely straight up and he's absolutely gorgeous. Let's pop down this way. The hard goods aisle we usually start with is very, very busy. So trying to avoid getting people on video, we can start in the kitcheny bits. Let's see what they have. Not very full shelves today, so I'm wondering if they're going to be restocking while I'm here. That's always fun. Lots of bakers and bowls and platters. It's a little souvenir piece there. Punch bowls. It's a little teacup. I think that might be Japanese. This is a ginger jar. It's quite modern. It's not too exciting. a set of rabbit and berry kitchen utensil holders and some shakers there. It's a canister set. 
These are quite vintage. What else do they have? I'm trying to pick up items that are not too big and bulky at the moment. We are still moving. And until I get my office and storage uh, inventory organized, I would rather pick up smaller items. There's a little teapot here. That's Japanese. However, I'm not very impressed with the paint work, so I'm going to leave that. Back here, I'm seeing a little molded piece. It's either Holland mold or Atlantic mold, I think. It's really nicely done. I love the green, uh, the different shades with the glaze, and it's only 99 cents. So let's make this the first thing we put in our cart. This is interesting. This is a tabletop wine holder. It's a little golfer toasting, but sadly, I think he's supposed to have a head. It's H and K is the brand. I think I'm going to pop him in my cart and just see if he's missing a headpiece. Here we are in the first aisle that's now empty. The shelves are quite full. This is exciting. Let's have a look. I love this little duck ornament. The way the wood grain is visible through the paint. The little Christmas tree around his neck and Santa hat. He's absolutely gorgeous and just 69 cents. Let's put him in the cart. Let's look through all the candles and the candle holders. This is an interesting little box. It's glazed. I think it's Mexican pottery. It's a sunburst design with little flowers around the edge. It's $2.99. I love the color scheme. I'm going to get that. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Little flower trumpets are still down there picture frames. Let's have a look at these balls. They're quite interesting, although as I pick them up, I can feel by their weight, they're not ever such good quality. Made in India, the blue enamel is separating from the metal, so I'm going to leave those for somebody else. The little egg tin here. Figurines. Oh my goodness, look at this Royal Copley piece. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can tell Royal Copley because it usually has those two bars on the base. This looks like it's in perfect condition. It's only $3.99. And right next to it is this gorgeous pottery cobalt uh, bud vase. It's quite weighty and substantial. I love the colors on it. Let's carefully get these two into the cart. This is an absolutely gorgeous piece of Nachtman cut to clear crystal. 
There were so many people in this aisle when I got here, and this is worth a small fortune, so I can't imagine that it doesn't have some damage. I'm almost scared to look, but as far as I can tell, it looks to be in perfect condition. It doesn't have its sticker, but I'm almost positive it's Nachman, and at three ninety nine, it's going in the cart. Let's see what else they have. Lots of clear glass as usual. This is an interesting pottery piece. It's not marked and the lid almost looks like it doesn't match the base. That's interesting. The lid is a different color and a different glaze. So I think I'm going to leave that. Look at this gorgeous blues and white fused glass bowl. It's got a cobalt stripe on the top and oh, a massive crack on the bottom. Luckily, it's not really noticeable when it's upright, so hopefully someone else will pick it up. I can't believe what I just saw over here. This says Glassy Baby on it. Glassy Baby is such a popular brand at the moment. I'm wondering what's in here. It's $2.99. Oh, it's just tea lights. <laughs> I was hoping it was going to be one of their glass votives, which are worth ever such a lot at the moment. These are palm wax little tea lights that you put inside the votive holders and they, I believe, come in a set sometimes with these candles. This is a dice ornament. It's glass designed by Kurt Adler. This is fabulous. I believe it's from the Bellagio Hotel for $1.99. I'm definitely going to grab this and I'm also going to grab my glassy baby candles. There we go. Lots of baskets up top here. I love the colors on this canister and the lion feet. You could use it for makeup in the bathroom or cotton balls. Unfortunately, it's got a big chip here, so I'm going to leave it for someone else. This is a bamboo drawer organizer. There's lots of plaques and frames and wall hangings. Little cubbies. This is an interesting hobbyist piece. It's really, really heavy. This is a massive measuring tape. That would be fun in a sewing room. It's a microwave plate. More baskets. More cubby shelves. So many signs. You could make a really fun wall. It's coasters. It's 
It's a nice magazine rack down there. More interesting baskets. Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid and what I expect to get for it. Everything you see in the haul is available for direct purchase. So if you're interested in something you see at the price I mention, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. I'm not sure whether this is a tray or a frame, but the little leaves are embroidered on the tree. This is an interesting basket. It's so delicate. It's almost like wicker work. I do like that, but it's very lightweight and not such good quality. Let's work our way around the corner into the vases. There's not too much on the shelf over here. I'm looking for anything unique and interesting. Anything that's obviously really good quality. Anything signed. Any advertising pieces? Oh, look at this pink cat bottle. When Danny, the niche lady, and I had our booth, I sold a red one, a gold one, and a black one, I believe. Mostly florists' pieces on the shelf here. Here's the colored section. All sorts of colored vases, lots of florals. This is quite a pretty hobbyist piece by Pat96. That's $2.99. I'm not so sure that that would sell well for me so I'm going to leave it for someone else some face masks Ooh, there's some little gardening tools here could probably get my children to help me in the garden if I got them a trowel to use. These are always useful for weeding and putting in little plants. So we'll take it. Here we are in the metals. Baskets and racks and platters. Candle holders up there, candle sticks. More signs and plates.
Here we are in the mugs and they have an entire set of these Lighthouse Corel mugs. Back here is a little unicorn. Oh, it's a unicorn cat. But sadly, the horn is very chipped. Some SpongeBob. This is Pier 1. I always pop the Pier 1 mugs in my cart just to check because sometimes they're discontinued and the replacement value can be very good. So I make sure there's no damage, pop it in the car, cart and check eBay solds. Just a few on these shelves. We're waiting to restock, I think. Here's a Disney one. It's $5.99. It's good to keep your friends within hugging distance. Winnie the Pooh. I'm going to pop that one in the cart and check value on that too. This is a Blue Sky Clayworks Heather Goldmink mug. This black and white one. Unfortunately, this brand used to do really well, but now the market is a bit flooded and uh, prices have come down. That means I generally leave those pieces for someone else. Some more Lighthouse mugs there. Lots of glasses mixed in. Into the glasses and tumblers. All different colors. Before I leave, I like to do one last walk around to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I decided to pick up this little gnome snow globe. He's musical, he's in great shape. Gnomes are very popular. I also noticed these two candle holders with etched trees on them. Really nice quality. I'm going to take them both. This is a decorative piece. It's the Space Needle. It's very unique, made of wood and metal. And for 99 cents, we'll take it. This is a carved wooden jewelry box. I like it, but the inside velvet is a little bit worn. The little chain is broken to hold the lid open and it's extremely heavy and for those reasons I'm going to leave it for someone else.
this is a really nice quality brass angel wall pocket she's 3.99 very vintage we're going to take her with us let's do our usual walkthrough of the art before we go I'm looking for any unique pieces any original watercolors or oils vintage frames and anything that catches my eye this is a very colorful Asian theme piece Just have a quick flip through. Quite a fun modern table there. This sideboard appears to be vintage, but I think it's a replica. One good way to tell the quality of the piece is to have a peek inside the drawers and look at how the wood is joined. Look at this vintage cross country ski machine. It's Norda Track. How amazing is that? <laughs> I'd love to have a go on it. Here in front of me is everything I brought home from Goodwill. <laughs> Ziggy is here. Bandit is in the box. <laughs> I was so excited when I saw this box that says Glassy Baby. Glassy Baby is a candle manufacturer that's really, really trendy at the moment. The votive candles go into the hundreds of dollars on eBay. So you can imagine how excited I was when I saw this box. I was a little let down when I opened it up and I saw that they uh, were votives inside. Palm wax votives, but still, I can still say I found Glassy Baby at Goodwill for $2.99. <laughs> this is our gorgeous Nachtman lead crystal green cut to clear bowl. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's in perfect condition. I paid $3.99 for it and I value it between $100 and $200. Next we have this stunning home project. It's a cobalt blue with different shades of blue vase. It's heavy pottery, really quite substantial. I paid $2.99 for it and I value it at $25. I love vintage Royal Copley. This is a leaf vase in a sort of aubergine cranberry color. Royal Copley has the distinctive little long feet on the base of their pieces. This one has some crazing to it, which I love. I think it shows age and character. 
I paid $3.99 for this and I value it at $20. I picked up this really interesting sculpture of the Space Needle. It's multimedia, it's wood inlaid, uh, mosaic tile and metal. It's very unique. I paid 99 cents for it and I value it at $25. This is a little musical snow globe. It's a uh, Target piece, Wonder Shop. It's musical. It's dated 2021. I value it at $20. This is a Kurt Adler ornament. It's dice. The Polonaise connection collection by Kurt Adler. This one has the Bellagio Hotel Las Vegas logo on it. It comes with a hook. I value it at $35 to $45. This cute little Christmas duck was so fun. He's nicely carved, nicely painted. I paid six, 69 cents for him and I value him at $12. This is a gorgeous brass wall pocket angel. She's very vintage. I paid $3.99 for her and I value her at $35. I believe this mold Christmas tree came originally in a nesting set of three. I think this is the middle size. I paid 99 cents for it and I value it $15. I love these two glass candle holders. I love the tree design on them. There's a pear. A nice thick glass. Heavyweight, good quality. I paid 69 cents a piece for them. I'm going to ask $30 for the pair. What a fun little trinket box this is. It's Mexican pottery, painted and glazed, a sun motif. I paid $2.99 for it. I value it at $20. I had a little camera malfunction in the store and lost some footage of these two items. The first is this gorgeous blue butter dish with a bird on it. This is a world market piece. I just love the color and the bird design for spring. I paid $1.99 for it. I value it at $20. This is a vintage clay art mask. She's absolutely gorgeous. I love her colors and her earrings. You can see the clay art signature there, 1989. I paid $7.99 for her and I value her at $45. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, the haul, 
and please stay tuned for some footage of our new tile that's complete in our house and of Bear. If you're interested in purchasing anything you see in the hall at the prices I mentioned, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye.